Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSC Maths Class 7, Chapter 1 into this exercise, 1A question number uh, 7. So friends, without wasting any time, let us begin with the question, right? So, this one is fill in the blanks and name the properties used. Now, this we have to fill in these blanks, right? We have to also name a property which is being used in this. Now, you, uh, basically we have many properties for this integers, right? You like commutative property, like uh, associative property and like identity property and many. So, this we have to think of any one property which can be fit, fit over here, right? This we can use here. So, let us first think of commutative property. What is commutative property? It says that if I say A plus B, this can also be written as B plus A. So, if you see we have A as 32, just imagine and B is the number which we have to find. Alright, so this can also be written as B plus A. So, here B will be there and B is what? Minus 42 because it is given here and plus a so a we will write this right and if not then we can verify it as well see how so this becomes 32 plus in brackets only minus 42 write it as it is don't touch the brackets or sign whatsoever then minus 42 plus and then 32 right now this we will solve right so here 32 plus minus minus 42 becomes 10 minus 10 all right this and then here minus 42 and plus 32 is going to be again minus 10 so both the sides are equal and there was an equal mark here as well so this means that it is verified and you can see that our answer is you can write it here the commutative property is used here Alright, and the numbers we have already filled, minus 42 in brackets and 32. Let us move on to the next part. And now, let us move on to the next part. This is 64 plus and in the bigger brackets, minus 8. This is in the smaller bracket, minus 11, sorry, and plus 8. Then we close the bigger brackets. That is equal to something that is blank in the bigger brackets. Plus and then in the smaller ones, minus 11. Then plus and then again something, right? This we can see because you can see there are three numbers. This is 64, this is minus 8 and this, sorry, this is minus 11 and this is plus 8. Three numbers and out of which you can see that one number is being over here two times, right? So basically here we have A, B and C. A plus B plus C. Now, which property will we use here? Associative property. If you think of, what is it? It is that A plus B plus C. So, A plus B in brackets, right? And plus C. That is equal to um, A plus B plus C. This time, B and C are brackets that are grouped together. So, here A and B were grouped together. Here, B and C are grouped together. So, this means we, have, we can group any number together in associative property but our answer will always come the same same here also you can see first here minus 11 was group or you can say put in brackets and plus 8 was put aside with minus 11 in brackets right this time what we will do is we will get the number which was not in the brackets in the brackets so 64 here it is in, in the bracket and here it will be in the bracket, right? And minus 11 is coming in the brackets both of the times. So, this means that the third number will be just simple plus 8. Alright. Now, this again you can solve it or check it. It is up to you. Right. So, this will be 64 plus in, uh, in the bigger brackets minus 11 plus 8. So, 64 and plus minus 11 plus 8. Alright, so 64 plus you can keep on putting the equal to marks here. Now, 64 and plus minus 8 and sorry, minus 11 and plus 8. That is going to be minus 3, right? So, minus 3. 
and then finally 64 plus minus minus 3 so that is 61 all right 61 here now for the second one also we will solve it here this is in the bigger brackets 64 plus minus 11 all right and then plus 8 so 64 plus minus minus 11 plus 8 so 64 minus 11 will be uh, 3 and 5 all right 53 plus 8 so 53 plus 8 is going to give us 8 and 3 that is 11 so 1 and 5 plus 1 6 right so 61 here also 61 here also so both of the times or uh, if you solve this we get 61 if you solve this then also 61 so this states that associative property is the property which has to be used here let us move on to the next part and now moving on to the next one this is blank plus minus 4 is equal to minus 4 plus something that is equal to minus 4 now this one is a bit different from others here it is given the answer that is minus 4 right so we have to add something in minus 4 here and something in minus 4 here so that our answer comes out to be minus 4 so it is very clear that number here and here will be the same right it is clear and the, uh, that number when added to minus 4 must give us minus 4 so that means nothing changes when nothing changes you can relate to 0 no value when you add 0 no change when you subtract 0 nothing right so basically if you say here I write 0 and here again I write 0 right so in both of these I have written 0 now 0 plus minus minus so 0 minus 4 minus 4 and here also minus 4 plus 0 minus 4 so both of these places we are getting minus 4 so this means this is the correct answer we have to write 0 this is known as the identity property of integers of addition right so this becomes our answer and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon down below so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video also leave a like on this video till then take good care of yourself bye bye